Hey there, it's Lacey Byer with The Sweet Pea Chef, and today we're gonna to be making some Parmesan mashed potatoes. Is there anything better than creamy, buttery, heavy yet delicate and perfectly seasoned mashed potatoes? I don't think so, and if you agree, let's get started. So Thanksgiving is right around the corner, and you know what everybody loves to have at their Thanksgiving meal? These Parmesan mashed potatoes, or at least once you've tried them. Not only are these great for Thanksgiving, they're also an awesome addition to any weeknight meal. So the first thing we want to do to get started is to start steaming the potatoes. So go ahead and heat up a deep pot with water, and we're going to put that on high and let that come to a boil. While the water is coming to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and start dicing up the potatoes. I leave the peel on mine because frankly, I don't care enough to take the peel off and I actually like the texture of peel in the mashed potatoes. I think it adds a little bit of a nice texture to it. But if you really don't want the peel on there, go ahead and take that off before you start dicing it up. While we're dicing it, we wanna make sure that all the pieces have a nice, even size so that they steam evenly when we put them into the basket. So now go ahead and transfer those into the pot of hot water in a steamer basket and cover that and let it cook for about eight to 10 minutes until the potatoes are all nicely tender when you poke them with a the fork. Once the potatoes are nice and tender, go ahead and transfer those to a large mixing bowl and we're gonna get ready to mash them. So to mash these potatoes, I use a hand masher. I know in some of my recipes, I use a food processor or a blender or even an immersion blender at times to mash things up. I do like to mash a lot, but with these mashed potatoes, I like them a little lumpy, thank you very much. I think that that adds a little bit of character and makes it kind of more of a rustic, nice, beauty, awesome texture and it adds to the whole experience of these delicious mashed potatoes. I totally recommend it. If you want to use a food processor though, or anything else to mash them up to be more of a whipped texture, go for it. You can do that at this point. So go ahead and whatever method you're wanting to choose, go ahead and just mash all the potatoes until it's a nice even consistency. So now that the potatoes are all good and mashed, we're going to heat up the butter and the half and half in a saucepan over medium high heat. So with this half and half in butter mixture, we're not looking to boil it. All we want to do is heat it through and then also have the butter completely melt. Once you have that established, go ahead and turn the heat off and then slowly add three quarters of that mixture into the mashed potatoes. What we're looking here to do is to mix it all together. You may need to add all of the remaining quarter of that mixture, but you might not need to do it. It depends on how creamy and how liquidy you want the mashed potatoes. If you want it a little thicker, you don't need to add all of it at this time. Go ahead and add that to your desired consistency and mix it together to nicely incorporate it. So now we get to add in what makes these mashed potatoes parmesan -y goodness mashed potatoes. So go ahead and grab some sour cream and the Parmesan cheese, as well as the salt and pepper. We're gonna pour that all into the mixture. We're gonna stir that up to combine. And at this point, go ahead and taste it. You may wanna add a little bit more salt or pepper depending on the flavors. This is the time to do it. Make sure everything's mixed together and it's gonna be ready to serve. A great way to serve these is to use just a little bit of butter and some fresh chives, and it's gonna be such a big hit, either this Thanksgiving or any night of the week. I hope you enjoy it. As always, the recipe is below, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash thesweetpeachef, and I'll see you next time. They're also great for just a weeknight also. Also, also, or at least they will once you can have this all. shouldn't say kill you in the entire recipe, but you I don't like taking and start peeling. No. Yes. We're gonna be a champion of all champions.